arms. You know, what else can you do? And um, I knew it had to come sometime. I was hoping for another couple of years, but I guess we won't get that. But um, there will be things that in the next few weeks I will uh, not always be the best. Somebody will say something nice to me and I'll break down and cry. Woo! I'm going to miss him most looking out the window on the fourth floor when he used to come pick me up sometimes. He would drive down the street and click his lights on, and I would wave and go down to meet him, and he won't be there anymore. But it, I was glad that I cried at home at night and it was better during the day. Because uh, there were many things to do. And only me to do them.
the exact degree for such as the Just one time, I just have to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I just want to make sure I have the
It also means to corresponding to the normalization factors. And the partition function is equal to the sum of all the all the states all the states respect to the uh, first mass factors. And we know that partition function is a fundamental to to study the uh, properties of the system. So once we can calculate the partition function, we can get the properties of the system, such as uh, we want to calculate the total energy, the average total energy of the system, the variance of energy, or the heat capacity, or the free energy, or the other capacities. All of these uh, properties can be calculated uh, based on the uh, partition functions. And uh, I just mentioned that for 1D and 2, for 1-dimensional, 2-dimensional assay models, they have been analytically solved. And uh, also for, we have, suppose we have a large number of the uh, atoms in the system, or large number of particles in the systems, they will have a huge number of the state of the system, 2 to n, and usually the n will be, I think, uh, uh, yeah, depends on the system, the large number. So, to, uh, we need to resolve to some approxim approximation method to study the AC model. The first, I will talk about the mean field theory approximation. And first, we will recap the, the energy of the interstate. Right, it's this equation. So first, we move on to the sum of all the space outside. And uh, we represent the, 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 this part in the bracket. Uh, we denote the, the part in the bracket as H EFS. It's, we call it a vacuum magnetic field. So now we can see that the state of the energy of the state uh, of the state in the system uh, can be right uh, can be equal to the sum of all the sum of all the state. Oh, yeah, no. Is equal to the sum uh, of all the energy for each for each spin. And here the effective magnetic field is equal is is made of two points. The the, the first part uh, one part is a external magnetic field, and this part is a uh, interaction energy uh, between the nearest items. And uh, what is mean field theory? And the basic idea of the mean field theory is just to replace the individual spins. Sj is equal to plus one or minus one. The plus one denotes the spin up, and minus one spins uh, denotes the spin, spin down. And uh, we just replace this individual spin with an uh, uh, average value. We use m to represent the um, average value for, for each spin. And uh, by using this assumption, then we use each MFA to represent the uh, uh, magnetic field using the uh, mean field approximation. So it equal, equal to this two part. This part is also corresponding to the external magnetic field, and this part is corresponding to the magnetic field generated by the nearest uh, neighbor, nearest uh, items. Now we also consider that if only a single item in the systems, so for, consider only a single uh, item in the systems, the energy of the state will be equal to will be equal to, uh, to to this equation. So it only have the energy induced by the external field, and we also can get the get the probability of the of of the of the items and using the according to the bird's line distribution. And we know that the uh, the average value for each spin should be equal to the should be equal should be equal to should be equal to the yeah, how to say that yeah, the using the probability of each state we can predict it the average value for each spin. So the M should be equal to the each spin times its corresponding probability and sum over all of the states. Yeah. And the value is equal to the, the tangent H, tangent H uh, and uh, 
midfield, magnetic field. And uh, we can get this equation. So from this equation, we can we can calculate the midfield. Uh, we can calculate the the uh, the average the average value of the field.
analytical approximation method to study the AC model, it can give a, a, a positive, like correct result. And, uh, um, and for the uh, for the simulations and the metropolis algorithms, just to give a, a more uh, correct result to study the the AC model. So, yeah, that's it. Any, any question? Thank you. So, have you actually simulated something using this method? Um, <coughs> I, I just uh, looked for some reference to uh, using the ASI model. Yeah. Yeah. 
别人的条件不是准备了吗？我我只知道这个上面啊，你说这个问题。对，后来还想仨了，别别让你，别管我。还可以，可以，我我觉得不热你啊，比上次好。那上次，上次从那角度你就这样，一眼就瞅。我我不是让我瞅人吗？那我就瞅。你演讲时候一定要瞅，你看大家的表情，你知道吗？无奈。我做演讲的时候看见马丽娜和阿敏，就是好一点迷茫样，我就知道啊，他们没听懂，没听懂，我就还再讲一下。就这个。对。一点都不紧张。来，咱握个手吧。Good afternoon, guys. Uh, I'm here to present uh, one of the projects that I did, uh, which was a computerized audiometer. So the audiometer is a device that is used to plot audiogram for all of human beings. The audiogram is the plot of the frequency that you hear against the level at which you hear. It is a plot against the frequency against the power in dB, uh, dB in SL. So uh, that plot gives you how good you are listener. There are different uh, threshold levels that I'll be going through my presentation, which defines you what your uh, hearing ability is. So we designed a uh, MATLAB simulation, uh, well not a simulation, it's actually a project, uh, which plots your audiogram and 